It's been a while in the making. It's your K Shasta Care St. Jude Radiothon. And along with the Buckeye School of the Arts, I am proud to welcome the choir. They are here. We are finally sound checked and set. The story behind this song is uh, it, it's a song I wrote on the way back from Memphis as I was leaving the hospital. I realized that these these kids, these people that are there truly do have angels on their side. And that's what St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is. It's full of people that truly are angels. And it came to me that it would be 10 times better to have kids sing it. And the first ones that came to mind were the wonderful Buckeye School of the Arts Choir. I would like our soloist to step up to the microphone and introduce herself. Hi there. I am. You are? Megan Scheller. And Megan is going to be singing the part of, of a young girl who is going through cancer treatment and how tough that would be and the whole choir is going to join us on the chorus so thank you so much for singing with me you're welcome all right you want to do this okay. all right let's do this song's called angels on my side What she goes through daily, I could never do. But as much as she gets poked on and the radiation, I'm just so proud, very proud of her and um, heartbroken that she has to go through this. She pulled me aside one day. She was getting ready to go into surgery and we didn't know she was gonna come out at all. She took me in the bathroom off the gurney when they're getting ready to wheel her in. And she says, Mom, you have to stop this crying. You need to stop because I have to do this. And I'm thinking, what? And she goes, I have to do this, you know. She goes, this is the only way they're going to make me better. And she goes, you're just going to have to stop crying and let me do this because I can do this and I'm okay. And I'm thinking, this shouldn't be happening. But she was stronger than me. And I said, okay, baby, I know. I said, Mama can do this. I'm okay. And of course, when they took her through the doors, my husband and I fell to our knees on the ground crying because we were thinking, oh. Look at this child, how proud and how strong, and she's stronger than us, and we didn't know she was gonna come back. And I realized from other parents and just from my husband and family, you're gonna have to stop all this crying and stuff, because when you cry, it scares her. And she's terrified, but she's, she's okay. She looked at me as I tucked her into bed. Daddy, why is this happening? Was it happening to me? Do I deserve this? Did I do something wrong? It's hard to explain it Hard to make you understand The worst and the best things You always get for free Yeah, the worst and the best things You always get Get for free. about your age. 
it, it can hit any family. As a four-year-old child, Jamin touched more hearts than I could ever imagine doing in my entire life. It makes you see what's important in life and where your priorities should be. The reason why people supporting St. Jude is important to me. They are doing the best that they possibly can to make it easier on a family and try to find the cure for cancer. She looked at me as I lifted up her veil. Explain it as I walked you down the aisle. Don't have to see it, I can see it in your smile. The worst and the best things you always get for free. Yeah, the worst and the best things you always get. And that's what it's all about with St. Jude. It's all about the kids. And that's why it's so special to have these kids in the studio. And our Radiothon is something very special to us at K-Shasta. My thanks go out not only to the kids uh, of Buckeye School of the Arts, but to the community for calling our 800 line and pledging and being a part of this and making it a success because without them, it would just be us on the radio. But because this community is so awesome, the Radiothon each year is a success and that keeps the doors open to St. Jude and it keeps the research going. And that's really the reason we do this for the cure rates for cancer. So someday, maybe they can close the doors of St. Jude.